God led me to the book of Nehemiah. He led me to the book of Nehemiah and the thing is that at first I didn't understand what I was doing in Nehemiah. Nehemiah is not the kind of usual book that you usually go to if you are looking for a scripture or you want to go and minister to people. I went into the book of Nehemiah and I started to page through and I, I didn't understand anything. I didn't understand what was happening. I didn't understand why God would want me to go through Nehemiah. What is it that God wants to say to me? I went through it for months and for months and for months until yesterday. Until yesterday. And yesterday that's when God finally revealed to me what was happening to me all these years. The thing is, for the past few months, I've been feeling bloated. Like, have you ever felt spiritually bloated? Have you ever felt emotionally bloated? Have you ever felt like everything was just weighing on your shoulder? Have you ever felt like you are putting your energy into everything and there's just no progress? Have you ever felt like you have been, you are fighting battles day in and day out? You are doing things day in and day out to advance your life, but nothing seems to be working. You still feel this heavy load. You still feel bloated. You still feel like there's just no way forward. I work hard. I, I, I try to push my business. I try to push my YouTube channel. I try working hard at work, but then still there's no progress. Still I'm not moving forward. Why am I not moving forward? I felt so heavy. I felt like there was this blanket of darkness hanging over my shoulders, hanging over my shoulders, hanging over my body, hanging over my spirit and my soul. I thought it was just this demonic force that's trying to attack me and bring me down and finish me off. I didn't understand that purpose was heavy. I didn't understand that purpose was so heavy that it could weigh your soul down, that it could make you gain weight physically because of purpose, because you are not doing what you are supposed to do, what God has called you to do. And I touched many things. I tried to get involved with so many things, but it just couldn't bring back my spark. It just, I just didn't have that thing that made me feel like I'm alive. I didn't have that spark inside of me that made me feel like I'm living. I felt like I'm just existing to Netflix and chill. That was my life. That was what I've been doing and I knew that I'm wasted. I'm wasted because I know that I have so much in me. I have so much that I want to share with people. I have so much that I want to do with people. But yet I feel so bound. I feel so attacked. I feel so caged. I feel like I am in prison. The only thing that I do is stand in front of the camera and do silly videos. The only thing I do, I go to work and then I come back and I sit and I watch the TV. My life and it's just moving and wearing away. I'm wearing away I'm dying slowly on the inside and nobody can even see it nobody can even notice I don't understand what is happening to me why am I in this prison that I have created for myself because of not doing what I have been brought into the earth I didn't know that purpose was so heavy I didn't know that your calling can be so heavy and you can be so heavy can drag you down and not because it's a demonic force or not because it's a fight from the enemy but because your purpose is pulling you down trying to get your attention trying to get you to understand that there are people's souls that are crying for you that are crying for the Lord through you that need you to heal them that need you to change their lives and unless you do that which God has called you to do you're still gonna feel that heaviness and you're gonna feel like it's witchcraft you're gonna even get sick and sometimes even feel like you're depressed not because you're depressed but because purpose is just so heavy and it weighs you down Jeremiah says it is like fire in my bones have you ever felt fire in your bones it feels like darkness it feels like it's this cloud that's hanging over you and you can't progress, you can't move forward. But I need you to understand that there is purpose weighing you down. And unless you embrace it, you're not going to grow. You're not going to go anywhere. You're just going to keep falling inside of this abyss, inside of this pit, inside of this dip. You're going to just keep falling and falling and falling until one day, years later, you find out you've been wasting your energy. Time is gone and you are tired. And you die and you haven't made any change any difference in the world because you did not follow your purpose you did not do that which God had ordained for you before time he said to Jeremiah listen I need you to understand that before time I knew you I understood you I created you I put you together in your mother's womb and I placed purpose inside
inside of you, purpose that will encage you, it will enslave you, it will imprison you until you embrace it. And I start to understand that yesterday. I start to understand that what I've been feeling is just the result of my laziness. It's my result of my ignoring the word of God. I knew that once I read the word of God, the Lord will speak to me. But why is it that every day when I try to read the word of God, I just seem to not be entertained. I just seem to not understand anything. I read the Bible for two minutes. Two minutes is a long time actually. I read the Bible for a second and I will be out of there. Not understanding anything not getting any connection not getting any message why is this happening to me i felt so heavy and i felt like i was dead i felt like i was just not alive i'm not living and i decided to go on a fasting prayer i decided to go on a fast for 21 days and the purpose of my fast was going to purge my spiritualness i was going to release and i was going to build rebuild my relationship with god i started i haven't fasted that time in years i hadn't fasted in years and i'm saying this in the most literal form the whole minister you know the pain of walking towards people and they're like ish i wish i could be as spiritual as you are as prayerful as you are as into the things of god as you are and that time you remember the scripture and revelations that says yes you have a sound you have reputation but the fire is out you no longer have the fire you no longer have the presence you are just but a box that has a reputation and that it's with god but you are just not there anymore that was my life people would be like oh my god we want to be like you we want to move with god like you the time i have can't even pray for over a minute i can't even pray for over five minutes i can't even pray for over two minutes i'm like god protect me and i am out you know i didn't even understand i didn't understand what's happening i didn't understand that it was purpose that was kind of like weighing me down and i decided to you know, stop going to church big blunder i stopped going to church and after I stopped going to church i'd sit at home and i'm not praying and i'm not worshiping and i'm not doing anything but it's fine i decided to go on this 21 day fast and as i was on this fast i decided i'm going to find the lord again i'm gonna reconnect with god I haven't fasted in years but here am i embarking on this journey i want god i want to see god in my life i fast the first week sometimes i'll go for three days and then i'll go for three and then it will just seem dry it will seem like nothing is happening but i didn't stop i was like i'm gonna do this I'm gonna do some great things for my body my i want i want to i want my spirit i want this weight that i feel over my spirit to be lifted up and then i went on this first time continued i continued the first week the second week the third week and by 20 days i was exhausted and i was tired and i haven't seen anything happened i haven't hadn't noticed any change i was still not reading the bible whenever i would think about reading the bible i would prefer looking and reading my phone and going through my phone as a better option as to reading the bible i went on and 21 days at the end of 21 days on 21 day 21 i felt this joy inside of my spirit i felt this joy inside of my heart i felt this relief i just i just felt it was not really a big deal it was just like when you've just met someone and it was just a spark going inside of me and i was really excited about god again i was excited about god again and i decided that i'm gonna continue with this tradition of making sure that i set a time every day for myself that i pray because i want to rebuild my relationship with god but still i was not reading the word of god and i was not understanding but i would constantly i would you know most of the time when i go into the bible i would go into nehemiah I would go into Nehemiah and I would be reading Nehemiah and I didn't understand why am I reading this what is the significance of someone trying to build a wall what is the significance of someone that is just you know what is, he's not a prophet he's not a apostle he's nothing but he's trying to build a wall what is the significance I continued reading and it didn't make sense to me it didn't make sense it didn't make sense you know but I continued praying and reading 30 seconds it's, 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 it's probably that amount of time that I spent in that scripture and as I continued until yesterday and yesterday when I was sitting and I was in my prayer session it was I think it was the day before yesterday when when I called a sister of mine I'm like I feel like I'm dying someone told me that I'm gonna die 
they dreamt that I was dead and the other day I didn't sleep I didn't sleep like the whole night because there was an owl that was crying for the whole night I slept around four and I didn't sleep the whole night and it disturbed me and when it disturbed me the next day I called this woman this woman of God and I told her what was happening and I told her that I'm afraid and I feel scared and then she said she prayed for me she said listen can my husband um, Pastor Bamuza can he pray for you and the pastor called and she called and then the pastor took the phone and then he started praying for me and then after he started after he stopped praying for me I remembered that I'm a worshiper I remembered that I'm a worshiper and then I reminded myself I started to remember that not only am I a worshiper but I haven't worshipped God in a long time I haven't worshipped God in a long time and then I came into my studio which is also my prayer room and then I started to worship God and I worshiped God and I want you to understand that my life has not been the same since then and when the Bible says where the presence of the Lord is there is liberty and that when you worship him you're creating a portal for him to come and dwell inside of your life it's very much true because I experienced his presence it was a journey but I feel I feel good that I can feel the presence of the Lord in my life moving with me.